Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk specifically about the breath control quickly. Since RX-6, I've run into a problem where something was attenuating my THs and CHs and some other random words when I ran my module chain. And for the longest time, I thought it was the deplosive because the CHs and THs sometimes can be perceived with the plosive. So I figured the, the deplosive module was cutting them off, but it turns out it's actually the breath control. And this is, I'm gonna point this out using this clip from a different one of these videos in this course. There are a couple of breath sounds inside of this clip, mainly right here. You can kind of see visually where they are. But there's also a couple of instances where some of the word is actually getting in, caught up as a breath. So what I'm gonna do is output breaths only on the default preset inside of the breath control here. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it from start to finish. And we're gonna listen to see what RX is saying our breath sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and output breaths only and let's preview this. Okay, so first of all, it definitely picked up breaths here, here, a small one here, and here, and that's great. I want it to pick up those, but it also picked up a breath right here. Let's go ahead and listen to what that is. Sure. It's sure. See, there's like a, at the end of sure, and it's picking that up as a breath because it actually really does sound like a breath, but I don't want to attenuate that because that's part of the word. There's also a big problem over here. That's fantastic. Fantastic. So first of all, before I show you what the problem would be, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the target level threshold here using this breath right here. We wanna make sure we're gonna getting a, a good amount of gain reduction or pushing that breath sound into the background. So let's go ahead and preview this. Those three. So you see, I'm not even getting any gain reduction at negative 30. So let's go negative 50. Those three. Okay, so that's a much better sounding breath. It's pushed back, it's still there, so it still feels natural. But watch what happens when I run this on this part right here. As well as fantastic theories. So we're really getting fantastic. It doesn't sound too natural when I run it right here. And there's a way to get around this, and it's with the sensitivity slider right here. So what I wanna do is, figure out if I need more sensitivity or less sensitivity to bypass this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up to 100, and let's see if that's picking that up still. I'm gonna turn on output breaths only and preview. As well, so it's not sensitivity 100, let's check sensitivity zero. As well, so it's not picking it up there. So what we need to do, and this is gonna be, depending on how detailed you need to have your project, if you're working on you know, a blockbuster film, you need to get in and you need to you know, go one by one, find each one of the breaths and make sure it's gonna be attenuated perfectly and make sure none of these are being attenuated when they shouldn't be. But what I, we need to do is either do that method one by one or figure out a healthy balance. So where it's only gonna be picking up uh, the breasts and not those, or most of the breasts and less of these. And I think somewhere around 30 might do it. So what I wanna do is run the preview from here to make sure I'm getting this breath, but not this part right here. So let's try that around 30. Okay. So I'm still getting it there, maybe around 20. Okay, so around 24 is bypassing this, but let's see if it's picking up these other breath sounds. So cool, I've gotten rid of this part, which is perfect, that's what I wanted to do. It's not picking that up anymore, and it's not picking up this either, but it is picking up all the other breath sounds. So right around 24.5 is exactly where I wanna be. So what I would do is uncheck output breaths only, and just go ahead and render. And I've gotten, or oh, I've attenuated those breaths, but I haven't attenuated the other areas that shouldn't be. Seashore. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Things like these, that, this, 
that. So maybe that's not attenuating enough. So let's go negative 70. Let's go ahead and render. And now I can clearly see visually in the spectrogram there that that is going away. It's getting pushed back. Peter, And one side effect of the sensitivity being down this far is you can hear it right here. <laughs> it sounds like it's skipping there because it's only picking up the main part of that breath. So what I would do if, again, this was a high budget project where I needed to make sure it was absolutely perfect is I'd go back to my initial state and really just pick out the breaths here, I would turn the sensitivity up, and then preview that the seashore. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Things like these, and then I'd render just that section. Seashore. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Things like these, that, this, that. So I'm getting a little bit of that skipping here again. You know, I'm gonna leave it as is for right now. I've already kind of given you the pointers here, but you need to decide how detailed you wanna be. You can't just rely on just a one-click situation. Sometimes you can, and it does a great job on most modules, just choosing the default, hit and render, and it does a great job. But you may need to come in and do it breath by breath. You know, this is kind of more distracting. The double tap there is more distracting than just having it like this. You know what I'm saying? So you need to choose what's the best approach here. Maybe I could turn the sensitivity up just for this breath. You know, come in like this. These, that, this, and that's probably a better move for that particular breath. So I'd render that, and then I'd have to come over here and do this one. But I just wanted to point out that if you're getting some attenuation of your CHs and THs that is unexpected, it's most likely the breath control module. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.